Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where I challenge myself to make something I've never made before every week. This week I'm making one of my all-time favorite fast food items, the Egg McMuffin. With English muffins completely from scratch. Today I'm following a video by Sam the Cooking Guy on YouTube who definitely has a very unique style of cooking video. And not to spoil anything, but um, I have a couple things to say about this recipe. So without further ado, let's just get started. We'll start off by making our English muffins. And we'll start off our English muffins by activating some yeast in some warm water. As usual, you want your water to be between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit so you don't kill off your yeast. And I'll just let it sit for 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'll do two things. The first of which is warming up a cup of milk and two tablespoons of sugar. And the other thing is melting this block of shortening. Now, here is where I had an issue with the video and the recipe from Sam the Cooking Guy. Which is that he never specifies how much shortening he uses. Which, since I'm sure he records his videos live, is totally okay to forget in the moment. But at the very least, you should include measurements in your description. And for me, it actually gave me a lot of anxiety trying to figure out exactly how much shortening to add. And it made me not want to make this recipe at all. <laughs> and so I think if you're making a video and trying to encourage people to cook, you should make it as accessible as possible to everyone. Luckily for me, I found out that the recipe that he was using was very similar to this one that I found on all recipes, which I will link below, which shows me that it is one fourth cup of shortening. Which brings me to my next point. Which is, if you're not using your own recipe, you should credit the recipe that you are using. Because it's not fair to take other people's work as your own. Which is why I 100% always credit the recipes that I'm using because I'm not a recipe maker. And I don't want to make it seem like these recipes are my own when they're not. Okay, that's enough serious talk for one video. And right before our very eyes, we have dough! Now, Sam the cooking guy rolls out his dough and then cuts out English muffins with biscuit cutters. But since I don't own biscuit cutters, I'm just going to weigh out 2 ounces of dough, roll it into a ball, and then squish it down into an English muffin-like shape with my palms. I believe there's also a tool that you can use called an English muffin mold to help your English muffins be circular. But this is a good way to do it if you don't have any equipment. And then I'll lay my dough circles on a bed of cornmeal. And then repeat the process until all the dough is gone. Now I think the English muffins I made were a little bit small. So if you do use this recipe, I recommend bumping up the weight to 3 ounces instead. I'll spread some more cornmeal on top and then leave these to proof for about 45 minutes. I believe you can bake these, but today we're going to pan fry them. I'll cook them on a non-stick surface until both sides are cooked. Make sure you do keep an eye on your heat. And if your English muffins are getting brown too quickly without cooking all the way through, you can turn the heat down to prevent them from burning. Now I'll cook the rest of the ingredients, starting with the egg. I'm using a circle mold here for the egg, but of course you don't really have to. I wanted to recreate the egg McMuffin somewhat accurately. And I also just think that 
The circular shape is kind of fun. <laughs> To cook the egg fully, I'm going to be steaming it, so I'll pour in a little bit of water and then cover and steam until it's cooked. While I do love a good runny yolk, I'm choosing to cook this egg over hard so that the sandwich won't be too messy. And then our meat of choice today is breakfast sausage. And because this is my sandwich, I'm going to give myself two patties. On top of one of the patties, I'm going to melt one slice of American cheese, which I know is probably a controversial choice, but I actually really like Kraft American cheese, so I'm gonna use it. Our last step is to toast the muffins in some butter. Because if you get McDonald's Egg McMuffins, they are like, drenched in butter. <laughs> then we'll put it all together. Yay, it's time to eat. I think these came out looking so good. And in my opinion, they look pretty similar to the McDonald's ones. And I gotta say, it tastes pretty similar as well. Just like with a fresher vibe to it. It is quite salty even when I put hot sauce on it, so I feel like you need some kind of side to balance it out. But for me, the biggest surprise this episode was how easy English muffins were to make. I do think if you don't have a stand mixer, it will be a bit harder, but... I do think hand kneading is possible, but you'll probably just need a little more time. And with this recipe, you literally get so many English muffins and you can freeze them or store them for later. But anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed eating this Egg McMuffin. <laughs> if you have other suggestions for fast food recreations, let me know in the comments below. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I upload a new video every Monday. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!